What's up everybody, Nike of the Fox here and welcome back to the Closet Cosplay Quarantine Challenge. I'm excited for today because we're doing another book character and I am a sucker for the books so I am really excited for this one. Today we are going to be doing a character from, again, the first Fazbear Frights book. So today we are going to be doing Millie. Basically this girl was me in sixth grade. <laughs> Super emo, super dark, super into death, which is why if you read this short story, that's a whole thing of situational irony. It's pretty great. So I like this character. She's a little mopey and it gets kind of annoying, but at the same time, later on in the story, things get exciting. So it's pretty cool. Highly recommend getting this book if you haven't yet. It's a great read. I'm really excited for the third book coming out in early May. That should be coming soon so I'm excited to read that one too. But for now, we are going to get started on Millie, and I'm going to start with my voluptuous eyebrows, as usual. Anything else I come up with, I will let you guys know as I go. But here we go, we're gonna get started. Hello, I'm back. Sorry if the lighting was like strobing for you. Once again, my other studio light is still out in the spare room. So this one light is all I have right now. I just looked right at it and went super blind. <laughs> my face is done, eyeliner's good, eyebrows are high. And now we're going to move on to the mouth and then we will be done and then costume time. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm back. My face is done. I think it's looking very dark, very Evo for sure. So now we are going to move on to the wig. Ew, my wrist just popped. I don't know if my microphone picked that up, but that was disgusting. Wig. We're gonna move on to the wig and the clothes and the accessories. Here we go, sexy fishnet for our face. Step number one. Oh, I hate how long my hair's getting, because look at this. It's not long enough to stay behind my ears without poking back out, but it's not short enough to not look like a sideburn. <laughs> so we are going to be using an old, old black wig that I have. So she's gonna need some good brush in. She's, ooh, she has bangs. Brushing. Oh, she's not so okay. I was about to say she's not so bad, but then I stumbled across this rat's nest here. I'm brushing very gently, by the way, no matter what this sounds like. I swear, I'm being very gentle. This is just how bad this knot is. I believe I used this for Alice Angel. I think that's the one time I've used it, and then I lent it to Oodles of Noodles when she cosplayed as the marionette with me when I was lefty for Phoenix Fan Fusion last year. 
You guys are about to see what I would look like as an emo person with long black hair and bangs. Are you ready? Oh god, I look like I am ready to go to a KISS concert. Oh god! Oh, the hair is in my eye. Oh, the hair is all the way in my eye. It's not just a little bit in my eye, it is like in my soul. I can really like feel this look going on. Like, I'm just really feeling the death. Like, you know, like I just want to find love. I want to find death and I want him to take me. Now for the rest of the outfit. The hair is going behind because when it's in front, it's itchy and this wig is made out of very cheap synthetic fibers. It's disgusting. It's shiny. I hate it. But you know what? It's all I got. So we're going to stick with it and we're going to move on. <laughs> I'm going to kind of go with my own artistic liberty here and add some more to this character because again, I think the concept art was literally just a girl in a black hoodie or something. So first of all, I have like a collection of chokers. Like, Chokers and crop tops are my thing right now, but I brought like three of them over here to kind of see which ones I like. So I'm going to try these on. The weave is getting snatched real quick while I do this. I realized that I did this in the wrong order and I should have done my chokers first. Don't fall off. If you fall off, we're going to have a problem, sis. We're doing the chokers first. Hello? Did I get it? I got it. Grab it. Nope, that's not it. You almost had it. If me and you are going to have a problem, I don't want to spend half an hour trying to put on the same choker. You feel? Hey, see, all I needed was to have a little pep talk and then we got it. So I do have pierced ears. However, since quarantine, I haven't worn earrings in them. So they're kind of starting to heal up, which is weird because I've had these piercings for years. So I don't know how they've started healing up because I've had them forever. Just because I didn't want to go through the pain of trying to re-pierce them myself, I'm just going to use some fake earrings here, which are just as cute. These little guys just kind of snap on like that. Nice and easy. Okay, now the wig can actually be put on for real. All right, so now I'm going to throw on a black jacket and then I will stand up and reveal the whole look. So, catch you in like two seconds from now. Are you ready? Transition! All right, everyone, here it is. This is Millie, the depressed emo teenager who just wants to find love and death, but not actual death, just the hot metaphorical version of death. You know? I think this turned out pretty well. I like it. It's not too bad. So thank you everybody so much for watching this episode of the Closet Cosplay Quarantine Challenge. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and smash that subscribe button like you want to die. <laughs> And please, check out this poll up here to vote for the next character you would like to see me do next. And always remember, you are more than welcome to join me on this Closet Cosplay Quarantine Challenge. And if you do, please post pictures of your Closet Cosplays on Twitter and or Instagram and tag me in them right here. <laughs> and remember, stay bright because you're a star, wash your hands, and stay home, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, my love. I will see you in the next lifetime. Until we meet again.